Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain why this sensor is super important and if not fixed on time, that can lead to more problems. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger with a 3.6 engine and if you need to remove or replace intake air temperature sensor, we'll explain where it's located, how to remove it so we don't damage guys, okay, your intake hose because that's quite expensive, it's close to probably 100 bucks or something, uh, uh, something around there. We'll explain how to do it and we'll talk how you can even test it. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that dot charger, we'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our two supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things so what we have here guys 2018 dodge 3.6 engine that's quite uh, common on dot chargers guys that 3.6 now let me before we start let me just tell you something guys you can see that's your air filter box on most cars okay uh, the non Chrysler cars usually have mass airflow sensor that detects how much air the engine is getting and often in that mass airflow sensor you have an intake temperature sensor that detects the temperature of the uh, of the air as well but Dodge, these specific Dodges, they do not use that guys the 3.6 VVT for, the, uh, for that market does not use it and if you think about it uh, how the engine calculates how much air it's getting pretty simple right here on the intake hose you have one device before the throttle body that's known as intake air temperature sensor. This detects how warm or how cold the air is. And then you have another sensor right here which is known as a MAP sensor. This is manifold absolute pressure sensor. Uh, this sensor detects the vacuum in the intake manifold and this one calculates the temperature. So two of them working together, the engine computer will be able to find out okay, exactly practically how much air the engine is getting and how much fuel it needs so that's pretty guys okay pretty clever right but if that sensor fails okay it can cause all kind of troubles because your car may start running rich overly and that can cause more uh, more damages later even to catalytic converters and things like that so let's explain where that sensor uh, how to remove actually that sensor and how to test it so if you look right here that sensor guys first you need to disconnect it how do you do that never pull for the wires that's number one mistake grab that connector and push it in to release the pressure press here on the back side grab for the connector and pull it out okay the place where i pushed is right here okay now this is the sensor itself that sensor if you try to yank it out you'll break the hose you need to replace it that's expensive grab the sensor and turn it counterclockwise about okay let me see exactly where it's going to come out about 45 degrees let me push it in and calculate again you can see you, uh, that position will come out that position you will be locked in place almost okay well 90 degrees actually 90 degrees close to 90 degrees quarter revolution and that's the sensor right here now if you want to see how to test intake temperature intake air temperature sensor to find out if it's good or bad so we don't waste your money on a new one we'll put a uh, video on our channel check it out if you need to buy a new one they're not expensive we'll put the link in the description of the video below and you can find out okay where you can get it from for a good price and quick shipping hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you need any help with that thank you for watching and see you next time